Welcome back to Amanda Molly. My name is Amanda. If you're new here, I currently just make random videos that I'm passionate about in, in making. And if you guys enjoy, that's great. If not, that's cool. I'm just finding what videos I like making on this channel go from there. I decided to get into the planning world. I love planning. I love organizing. And so what I used to try and do is use my phone, Google Calendar, Apple Calendar as well, and Apple Notes and things like that for organization. And it's really not working for me. It, it is. I want more organization in my life. There's so many planning websites and companies out there, but I've always wanted Erin Condren um, planners and I finally decided to do it. So I got the Life Planner Duo, which is, this is the January to June. And I somehow randomly, I was like, I don't really care. The two different covers, one the floral, I think the new collection and this lovely palm tree. One which I really like, it gets me in the festive holiday vibe because I'm going in January on a cruise. So that's perfect, right? Excuse the filming for this because I'm still trying to figure this out and filming these sort of sorts of videos if people like them. I am not going to show you the accessories because I just don't really, they're pretty straightforward. I got the zipper pouch, their new zipper pouch. I got the pens as a welcome gift. My Life Planner Duo came with this ruler, obviously, and fighter. And then I got the monthly duo, our monthly planner, which is awesome. Planner Finance by Erin Condren Budget Binder. Uh, this was the last minute one because last minute purchase because I didn't know what I was looking for per se because I, I know currently my finances are fine and I'm doing not bad with it. But with the budgeted cash envelope binder system, I wanted something easy. And I can focus on my finances a little bit better. Obviously, you all have seen what is in the binder or like the Clever Finance, what everything is about. But, and it's hard to see this thing because I'm still getting used to how to film. I didn't do too much with this. Obviously, I'm not going to show you personal information. I took those fun little planners. You can see, I'll just do this way. And it's hard to see. I used those little things to mark like, like color coded. So like in blue pen it's my subscriptions what came out i'm gonna do a yellow marker for a paycheck so like um red circle withdrawals and then black deposits for like for cash envelope system and what i deposited to keep track of that and whatnot i didn't really obviously i designed and put the washi tape all along each page and all that but don't know what I'm going to use with the blank page yet. As you can see, I did that all along each page. I missed a few, but that's okay. So far, I'm obviously just getting that prepared and ready to use. It's easy to use. I love it. So this is the Life Planner Duo. Six months and six months, obviously. I wanted a daily planner. I didn't know exactly what I wanted when it comes to... Oops when it comes to planning. So I, I'm currently looking for a job. So I just put stickies for like all the job um, sites. And then, so I just have this page with stickies for job sites um, that I check because I'm looking for a second job. Didn't really do much with anything. And then, so I didn't know what I wanted to do with this, but I know a lot of people like to plan month by month and design it month by month. But I was like, you know what? Let's just design it all of them before the new year starts. So I'm ready to go and I don't have to worry about it in case life just has a way of being too busy. I might put appointments in each on this one. I'm not sure. I'm thinking I'm not sure what I want to do. I already had tons of stickers anyway. I also bought more stickers because I ran out of the ones I had. Mm. So I used this. I went a little colorful. I kind of miss mix and match with the stickers I had. Just give it a colorful vibe instead of bland and matchy matchy. So January, I am just going to use this as don't know yet because I have the monthly planner, right? So it's like, I don't know what I'm going to use and put it in each calendar. I will show you what I'm doing, sort of thinking for, for the monthly. So I did kind of like important dates. The vacation obviously is here. I, each thing I do, appointment each vacation, I put in pencil right now. So it's easy to fix if need be. So you don't have to like put stickers over it, white it out sort of thing. I don't know what I'm going to use for this page. Just kind of decorated it it a little bit. I kind of put lines here. They're still in pencil. I'm gonna erase them. I just said this section is gonna be for priorities. Main things I want done in the year. I still have an Etsy shop, which I haven't touched in months. It's just like got in the way, focusing on CPAP therapy, that kind of thing. So I have to pack for the cruise, which obviously is 
number one and I see those things didn't make here and there restarting my weight loss journey so I decided to put use this little box each way in date might still stick with Mondays I haven't decided that yet for the kind of vibe and like I mentioned I kind of decorated each page don't know what I wanted to do with the space but I finally found stickers so you know what I'll just do fun things I know it might look cluttered but I like it I don't know why I put these here but I had the drink water stickers left over oh I can start almost writing for this day and then I work this day obviously which I haven't done anything with and sort of the same pages I'll just go through them and see yeah like had the today's stickers I don't know why because it's used and kind of used empty boxes as decoration I missed that side but okay so like I don't know what the notes pages will be I just put this weekend to do's I guess but we'll see how that goes these dates they're pretty much the same stickers and stuff some of them I put like exercise stickers oops exercise stickers to motivate me like they're not specific days I'm gonna work out I have to use them right and all my washi tapes aren't as in line or so with all my stickers I'm not a perfectionist incredible how many people are have that technique to make everything look so straight and linear and just that's the gist we'll show you some of it so they're not long so saying that this month february is a similar thing in the front i didn't decorate this one yet i don't know like i just bring in like good stuff you have like similar stuff that kind of thing let it go and grow make today amazing sort of thing the next pages it's going to march similar thing there oh yeah that's right so priorities obviously same sort of i had those little stickers that put all the throughout but you got my drift and i don't want to overwhelm you guys for different star stickers all right same with that i have leftover stickers that i'm going to use for calendars and things and then i recently just started where's the so then i did start with the same one i had these little letters and so i used all of them i still have quite a few left of certain letters didn't do anything yet because i'm still waiting for more of my stickers to arrive to finish this one from july to december and these are the new washi tapes i had these are the old ones still gotta decorate this one but that's okay you get the gist of what i'm trying to accomplish and do this monthly is going to be all about dates specifically so i can look back and make sure i take blood pressure medication and so i have to check my blood pressure have high blood pressure ironic i'm going to put the averages of the ones during the month in there um in here when that's all done if i do it weekly and then obviously books totals right in a month i'm gonna put like how like one to ten or how many books i've read in the month right because when i decided on this i didn't know what my plan was and then i should have just used these i'll show you somewhere else and just added like november december october etc there to there like september october november december july august september october november december get my job and this yeti so this is what i had to do so like i moved this over here just i don't know i got from july to august so yeah i had to have a section for the july to december's uh numbers as well january obviously you can see when i work it's fine nothing too crazy i have two appointments this month i'm planning to see a friend between the 10th and 12th to see her and do fun things with her before I leave for this week of vacations. I don't know why I use these little stickers. Could have used them somewhere else, but just to know that I was gone. I don't know, that's weird. I should have just done something else, but that's okay. Um, and then I just kind of decorated. So like yeah, the goals, I covered up the projects sections. And so I'm using them as, as lists. I don't know what I was gonna use these for. And then we have the habit tracker. So in January, I am going into read. I lost, obviously, wash my face, work out. And so I have decided to create separate sections. So it's like a note section, lists and stuff. So this one is started with call my doctor's office or something, call somewhere else as well, book an appointment, that sort of thing. And then over here we have, over here we have where I'm gonna put the blood pressure meetings for the month of January and then do the averages and that kind of thing. I'm going to see if cleaning, so that's just the dates I'm going to, of when I actually cleaned my machine. So you have to wash your mask, wash your mask tube, etc. weekly, like deep clean, and switch the filter. And then I have CPAP cleaning will be all for the dates I cleaned my machine, mask, and the water chamber, and the tube weekly. And then I put a separate one down here for when the CPAP filters. So, um, 
continuous positive airway pressure machines. They have filters to filter out dust, allergens, that kind of thing. And so I have that separate. So I know when I changed it last, I do have an app for countdowns and stuff for when I last changed it, changed both or did both, I guess you would say. Same with books read. So this is what I'm going to write or where I'm going to write the author and the title of the book sort of thing. And then that's how I'm going to get my totals to do on the first page. Make our stop. And then this is going to be my fitness section. Day is what I'm going to do weekly. Each month I'm going to do measurements. I'm still going to put the weight here, obviously the first weight and then all that. So I'm wearing M and then obviously I don't know how I'm going to do with these rest of these pages. We'll go as we go to what we can or that's why you use these agendas to figure out what you're going to do with them. Pretty much it's all for January. The same with February. I still, I did the same things for them. Okay, stop, please. I'm trying to film and snuggle you. Understood? So the same thing with Paige. I used markers and stuff. And then same with here. And then obviously random. But most of these I share. I'm not sure what I'm going to do. Like with, uh, how much dates was it? I think it was... See like these darker pieces. I can read it. It's books read and see if the filter change. That's hard to figure, like, to figure out what to do and how I was going to do it. If I like what this monthly calendar and agenda, I will get another one and do it much differently going then you got my drift see like see this is like goals right important states and important projects i kind of like change the labels um i still need to that because i still have washi tape left that's why i was waiting for more washi tape because i ran out i was doing the top of these books like i had to change and work around i made these boxes my myself see, i used markers for that to color in the wording because like i didn't have enough r's or o's and so to figure things out that way. And that same goes with, see like, I don't know if you guys can read that. We'll see when I actually watch this back, but get my drift in that. But that's pretty much it. I still will cover these, obviously. I like Erin Condren's planners. They're thick, you know what I mean? They're nice. These are the Life Planner Duo, this agenda, this monthly planner, and the Finance Budget by Planner. as my first ever orders from Erin Condren and so far I'm in love and wanting her agendas and planners for a while but it's like I will I use them but I think that I decorated these that I will be able to use them oh and I will also put the last of everything oops, for overflow if you will I am using three agendas this is when I decided to before I decided to buy the Erin Condren planners got these at like the dollar store i think this one at walmart i believe um and i didn't know what i was going to use them for originally i was like oh i can do these for shows and things like that but so i decided on this one because i used my label um, maker for bills budget and paycheck to keep track of that and hours maybe as well this one just like also overflows well in case i don't want it in my main planner planners and so and then i'm using certain areas like for christmas i put clothes my hours worked and that kind of thing. Obviously, I'm off the end of December, which is crazy. This is when it started. Nothing really happens fun-wise. I mean, I was at Christmas. Christmas wasn't much for me. And then this one is going to be all for appointments as well. Events, social time, and vacations. Like, what vacations I took. Events that I went to, just to remember. Because my memory hasn't been the greatest since, you know, you all know. If you don't know, if you're new. I fell and had a bad concussion concussion to the point where i had very bad post-concussion symptoms and so my memory has been hasn't been the greatest that could also coincide with the sleep pat machine we'll see it's been a year now almost two years since the accident i think had to remember but yeah these are just gonna be again like everyone else does overflow things like of that nature and that is my planners i hope you enjoyed them i'm not much of a person who decorates the camera which i probably won't 